Yo, what's going on guys, your boy Russ back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video And I got a packed episode for you guys today We actually have three games, but I mean Technically three games, but uh, I think one of them is really short and the other one Isn't very long which doesn't make sense at all. They're both not very long games But the third one is pretty much a full game So uh, you guys can you know probably guess from this point early exits in the first two So first and ten right there. We do try to chuck it up to OBJ I don't get anything, but I see him leave him one-on-one -on -one again, and look at this catch by OBJ. Just diving, man, at the 29-yard line. Then that dude tried to piggyback on him. I don't know what that was. Right there, we had ProSize wide open deep, and we weren't able to fucking make the catch or throw it, basically. And second and 10, Doug Baldwin does end up making that catch to the first down, and first and 10 comes up. Cam Newton breaking the tackle, avoiding a sack. Why not avoid another one and then throw it away? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cam Newton just shrugging off tacklers. And uh, we end up not losing anything right there. ProSize is not able to hang on to that one. So it is third and ten, and we need we need a play by somebody. We end up playmaking Jason Witten up the field, and we do end up making that catch for a first down to the five-yard line. Hand it to ProSize, and we do get to about the half-yard line, and we do end up running a fullback dive with Rob Gronkowski, and we get in to get up 7 nothing. And after I kick this PAT, this dude decides to go ahead and tombstone his PS4 and connection to your peer has been lost. I don't know why this is happening more and more. I don't know if people are trying to avoid a loss somehow. I don't know if that's a glitch or something. I see a lot more people doing it than just conceding and quitting. I don't know what it is, man. But this guy is Erlacher, Julio Jones, and Willie Young. And that's a pretty crazy team, man. I mean, those are some players right there. Especially Erlacher and Julio. Willie Young, I can deal with. But Erlacher patrolling the middle. And then Julio, of course, this dude can throw it up to him at any time. And this dude also has Ricky Williams. So, I mean, he's he's got a team, man. He's definitely got a team. So, at the 37-yard line, he's still running with Ricky Williams. I eventually stopped his counterplay. I mean, I realized he was pretty much running that every time. And then he threw it down to Ricky Williams. So, I think he uh, revolves his offense around Ricky Williams. Third and one, he does find Marvin Harrison, though, for a first down. Aaron Rodgers, two for two for 19 yards. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. That one is batted by Telvin Smith and intercepted by Carl Joseph. What a play, man. That Carl Joseph, he makes so many plays for me. That is the 84 um, ultimate season. You have to do the solos to get him. But he is really good, especially when you get that ultimate um, defense chemistry. And right there, that should have been a pick. I ain't going to lie. That dude should have had the bait. He had it so easy, and uh, he wasn't able to um, pick that one off. So, I mean, I mean, EA fucks all of us. So, I mean, I ain't really worried about it. But first and 10... Uh, or not first and 10, retarded. Third and two, we do end up converting with CJ ProSize. First and 10, I don't see much. I end up chucking it up, and Willie Young actually ends up picking that one off. Remember how I said I didn't have to worry about him? Yeah, I have to worry about him. He did pick it off, but it was out of bounds. So second and 10, we do get sacked. Third and 16 comes up, and we almost get sacked again. I barely get rid of it. Fourth and 16, life's a biscuit. Sometimes you got to risk it. And I do end up throwing it to OBJ. And when you throw it to OBJ, things happen. And OBJ ends up making that catch somehow. And just like that, first and 10 from the 22-yard line turns into second and seven from the 19-yard line. And we find Niles Paul in the end zone for an easy touchdown. And we end up cashing in after a fourth and 16. That has happened a lot, man, where I'm getting in fourth and longs. And I'm somehow converting. I don't know what it is. It takes me to a fourth and long to figure out how to fucking move the ball. So first and 10 for this guy. He ends up chucking it downfield. And D'Angelo Hall, both of my safeties get an interception in this game. And I'm sure you guys already know what's going to happen as he does end up rage quitting out. So the first two games were very, very short. For the third game, man, you guys can see Elvis Doomerville. If you guys did not see my award winner pack opening, he is who I pulled. He would not sell, and I end up keeping him. He has 93 finesse move. Of course, you guys didn't see that because I showed you the back of the card. We are playing him at left end, so he should be a beast. I think it's left end. Yeah, it's left end, and we also move Daniel Hunter back to right end. So um, we have a really beastly D-line. It seems like Daniel Hunter plays a lot better and, of course, his natural position, as you should. But um, I'm excited to have Elvis Doomerville on the team. I was going to sell him just because I worked so hard on that set. It took so long to get it, <clears throat> and I was kind of upset that it was only like a 70K car, but he just wouldn't sell. So you know what? Why not try to use him? And he, hopefully he's good, man. But as you guys can see, this dude's driving down the field. Pretty much with ease, but right there, Geno Atkins, that dude has been a beast for so long for me. He makes so many plays. Gets a sack right there. Third and 13 comes up. Gets nothing. That one's batted away, but it looks like Jason McCourty. So fourth and 13, he decides to risk it and go for it, and he gets sacked by Daniel Hunter. Strip sack, and we get the ball back. First and 10 from the 30-yard line. 
We chuck it downfield to Chris Conley, and he somehow makes that catch in traffic to the 48-yard line on the plus side of the field. We find Doug Baldwin right there for a nice gain down to the 29-yard line, 2-for-2 two two for 41 um, for Cam Newton, and then C.J. Procise with a 13-yard run. This dude sent some pressure. We end up firing a dot to Odell Beckham Jr. on the one-yard line, and this dude has goal line defense as the field switches. Sneak is stuffed. Fullback dive is stuffed. Halfback iso stuffed. Fourth and goal, I decide to go for it because I am fucking upset. And we run a play action, and I get sacked, man. Wow, Oliver Vernon looks like the most feared, ends up making that play. But third and three, incompletion. Fourth and three, look at this play, man. Runs a stretch play. The Sean McCoy is about to fall forward, and it looks like Dion Buchanan hits him in the back and keeps him inches short of the first down, and we come out firing. Dot to Rob Gronkowski for a first down to the 12-yard line. First and 10 from the 12 now. We do find Chris Conley for a nice gain down to the 6. 5 for 5 for 78 yards for Cam Newton. CJ Procise isn't able to get anything on the ground as he gains about 1. Third and 3, we're looking for something rolling around. Looking, looking, not seeing much. We end up throwing it to Jason Witten, all reliable, and he does not make the catch. That could have been picked easily, but we do end up taking our points. Um, you know, after not taking our points on fourth and goal last time, I wanted to make sure at least we got some points on this drive. So we do end up taking our points and going up 3 nothing. Fires a dot to Chris Conley right there. Now he's on the plus side of the field already. And I make a mistake as I leave Marvin Harrison one-on-one -on -one with Deshaun Shedd. And he completely burns him. And he goes for the touchdown. And he is up 7-3 to three with a minute 14 left in the second quarter. That is not the way I wanted that to go, but you know what? Shit happens. So, 7-3 to at this point. Looking for Gronkowski. We do find him. Gets wide open. He's fighting for a first down. Does get it at the 32. So, first and 10. Chucking it up deep to Chris Conley, and it is broken up by Mel Blunt. Seems like everybody has Mel Blunt, man. I don't know what, what's up with that. Anyway, Odo Beckham Jr. ends up dropping that one over the middle, which would have gave us a first down. So, third and 10. Try to find Doug Baldwin. He does not make the catch. But you know what? Might as well go back to him. Fourth and ten. We end up firing a dot to Doug Baldwin over the middle. And we do convert at the 39. So first and ten, we find Niles Paul down low. And we do end up getting out of bounds and getting a first down. We are in prime position to score at least a field goal. And we fire it to Jason Witten, who is wide open. Shit. We throw a pick to Richard Sherman and this dude, Scumbag McGee. Decides after me trying to let the clock run all the way down calls the timeout at one second to chuck up a Hail Mary I don't know why he did that. So anyway, dude waste both of our times to throw a fucking Hail Mary that didn't even do anything and uh, Seven to three is still the score going to half and that's a heartbreaker that we weren't able to score after converting on a long fourth down That was definitely a risk. So second and 12. I don't see much Cam Newton isn't able to run on this play, So I kind of got to stay stationary and Rob Gronkowski does end up rerouting himself and getting the first down at the 40-yard line. CJ Procise just shrugs off Mel Blunt. Oh, boy. That was pretty crazy. Second and eight. We're looking for somebody over the middle. And the same play that Doug Baldwin got on on our fourth down conversion gets open again. So first and ten, I'm looking for something. I don't see much, but I fire it to Doug. And he sure-handed receiver just making plays. Second and one, Procise ends up gaining well more than we needed <laughs> exactly so i ain't mad at it i'm happy with it and it's precise able to get us a nice chunk right there i didn't see anybody open on that play so i go the brock uh, brock jesus block and release with jason witten and we do end up getting uh, about nine so third and inches turns in or second and inches turns into third and one and we do find rob gronkowski for the first and we're able to get that ball off and gronk into the end zone for the touchdown his goal line defense for the run is really good so i decided i'm not going to run this time i do end up passing on a play action and we find gronk wide open and we are up 10 to 7 at the very end of the third quarter so at this point i'm thinking all i need is a stop right there it looks like marvin harrison did catch it but he does not it is dropped so second and 10 He's looking for something. No pressure's coming his way, but look at this, man. You see Chris Conley on the left side come down. Oh, bitch got baited. Just throw right at me, man. Why the fuck not? Oh, my God. Dude, it doesn't work when you're trying to throw back towards. Like, when somebody's coming towards you, it doesn't work. And I end up just baiting the fuck out of him, and he does end up getting a sack right there. Cam Newton shreds the tackle. I do chuck it downfield. OBJ's not able to make that catch, so third and 20 comes up. And that is not good. Is this guy running faggy? Two-man rush. But we do find Jermaine Curse for a clutch first down right there. 
first and 10 from the 25-yard line. So at least we're going to make this, you know, so he has to score a touchdown. But we find square, and he drops it. That was Chris Conley. He's not able to hang on to that. So second and 10, we find Mr. Whole Reliable, Odell Beckham Jr. over the middle for a first down at the 10-yard line. That was risky. That could have easily been picked by Mel Blunt. Luckily, it was at least dropped, so we didn't lose anything. And CJ ProSize does end up cashing in for us to make it a 10-point game with under three minutes left in the fourth quarter. And I think I got this game wrapped up because now I know he's going to pass. And uh, I've pretty much been stopping him on his pass. I've kind of been worried about his run a little bit, but not really. He's pretty much been passing the entire game. So first and 10 finally goes to his 93 overall. Antonio Brown boosted to a 95 and he doesn't make the catch. So second and 10, he's looking over the middle. Doesn't see much. It's covered and it looks like Tyron Smith ends up coming up or not. Telvin Smith. I always say Tyron. God damn it. Anyway, third and 25 comes up. Ball is dropped. Lawyer Malloy cannot pick a ball off to save his life. Fourth and 25. It is caught, but well short of the first down. And I'm sure you guys know what's coming next. Connection to your peer has been lost. He punched a hole through his fucking TV and then threw his PS4 out the window. So anyway, I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a good one. Three games. Uh, well, two really short ones and then one real game. So anyway, I did hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to look out for the next video. And as always, Dangerous Army, I'm out.